Hey guys, this is lesson 6-6, .6, Properties of Kites and Trapezoids. A kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of consecutive sides. Okay, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So it would look like this. Six dash six dash two. Okay, so if a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I suppose say what you're saying. So, because of this theorem, angle B is congruent to angle D, and angle C is not congruent to angle A. We're going to be doing a proof with theorem 6-6-2. So, JKLM is a kite with JK congruent to JM. And KL congruent to ML. We're proving that angle K is congruent to angle M and that angle KJM is not congruent to angle KLM. So we know that JK is congruent to JM and KL is congruent to ML because it's given. So JL is congruent to JL by the reflexive property of congruence. So now since we have three sides we know that angle, no we know that triangle JKL is congruent to triangle JML by side 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 so we can prove that angle K is congruent to angle M by CPCTC. -C -C. So now we're going to prove that angle KJM is not congruent to angle KLM. So if KJM was congruent to angle KLM, then both pairs of opposite angles of JKLM are congruent. So this and this will be congruent, and then this and this will be congruent.
this would mean that JKLM is a parallel parallelogram, but this contradicts that the given that it is a kite. Therefore, KJM is not parallel to angle KLM. Okay, so now we're doing example one. So Alicia is using a pattern to make a kite. This kind right here. She has made the frame of the kite by placing one and six along the diagonals. She also has cut four triagonal pieces of fabric and has attached them to the frame. To finish the kite, Alicia must cover the outer edges with a cloth binding. There are two yards of binding in one package. What is the total amount of binding needed to cover the edges of the kite? How many packages of binding must Alicia buy? So, we need to find the length of the binding Alicia needs and the number of packages of binding Alicia needs. So, if PQ is equal to 16 squared, because there's two 16s, and 13 squared, that's Pythagorean theorem. And that would equal the square root of 425 equals the square root of 17 to the fifth power. So RQ would equal PQ because this, they both equal 17. So RQ would equal PQ and they both equal that, so PQ is convert to RQ, these two. PS is equal to the square root of 16 squared plus 22 squared because of the Pythagorean theorem. And that's equal to the square root of 740 equal to square root of 185 squared. RS is equal to PS. And that's equal to 2 times the square root of 185. So the perimeter of PQRS is equal to 5, 5 times the square root of 17 plus 2 times the square root of 185 plus 2 times the square root of 185 equals 95.6. So the perimeter is 95.6. She needs 95.6 in a binding. So she needs that much binding. Now we have to figure out how many packages of binding she needs. So, all right, so one package has a yard, and a yard is 36 inches. She has, she needs 95.6. So two yards is 72 inches. So 95.6 divided by 72 is 1.3. So she needs two packages of binding. 